Hello and welcome to Merlin's Brick News, the weekly show on all things brick building where we talk about set updates and announcements from all the major brands, mocks of the week and a few reading recommendations as well. Information is presented as always by setdb.org, the best source for set information on the internet and if it is actually that good, we should actually go there and we will start in alphabetical order, go through all the brands and we will start with Blue Bricks, the brand over here from Germany and here we have a couple of announcements. Um, one quick note though, Actually, due to some issues around my vacation, around uh, the holidays, um, I was actually missing a couple of sets that Bluebricks announced by end of last year, especially around Robocop and uh, their plans around Stargate. So I will actually cover them today, but keep in mind that Bluebricks already announced them a couple of weeks ago, so some of you may already be familiar with that. Nevertheless, I decided um, to basically cover them um, still. So this, um, so get your seat belts fastened because this is actually quite a lot of Bluebrick stuff we have to uh, push through today. But now let's get started with the 107066. That is the waterfall anti-aircraft missile. This is actually Actually, a Second World War, um, definite or Second World War invention, if you will, or program uh, from Nazi Germany from back in the day was actually uh, developed together in Peenemünde with the V or V2 um, rockets that actually resulted, um, or lots of this technology developed over there, resulted into um, the foundation of NASA, to my knowledge. And I think even the waterfall anti-aircraft missile, while it was never used by the Nazis to defend Germany against. Um, British and American air bombing. Um, they, I think, came to up to 40 prototypes, something like that, but they never left the prototype stage. But nevertheless, I think it was also used both by the Americans as well as by the Soviets after Second World War to develop their own um, anti aircraft missile programs. Anyhow, Bluebrix has um, announced that they want to create a set with 342 pieces out of it. It is roughly in size 19 by 19 centimeters and 16 in height. I mean, it's a pretty simple model. It's only 300 and something pieces, but I do believe it is to a certain degree quite accurate. Um, I think even the Technic brick makes a ton of sense here. So all in all, not too shabby for only 300 pieces. And to my knowledge, um, Kobe has never done anything. So if you're into military history, uh, this may be for you. Then Bluebricks has announced that they will do an update on the Star Trek class F shuttlecraft, the 107070. Um, I mean, if you compare the two models, I think what, what immediately catches the eye is that we have now, this is actually the old model that I'm showing right now, that we have a ton of more prints. I have actually never built the original one, but I've been told that actually the, the warp drives were quite unstable. Um, so I guess this is also something that they fixed, but at this point in time, only speculation. Definitely what we can say is that we have more prints, a few more details on the ship, and yeah, I think that's about that. In general, of course, we are talking about the NCC 7001 shuttle so actually it has a name on it that's the Galileo and to my knowledge I think it was destroyed in Star Trek the original series I think it was the shuttle where Spock uh, decided to ignite the fuel tank something like that if I recall correctly in order to send a signal to the Enterprise and then Enterprise folks beamed them over and the shuttle was exploding after that as far as I can tell this thing is minifigure scale however to this day Bluebricks does not have a Star Trek minifigures. I think this is something that is still a work in progress. But I mean, I reported that Bluebricks has now a minifigure program for a couple of months now. But um, and I think they have already said that they would do something around Stargate um, and also Star Trek. But I think there is no date yet, and as you as you know, uh, no announcement. However, as always, I will keep you guys updated. So as soon as I have the update we will talk about the minifigures for sure as well but this one is actually one that is almost screaming for minifigures what we cannot see here on this picture if you go here on the on the back side of the box there are the four seats so the big question of course is i mean i don't know if i've talked about this in this show but the new minifigures from blue bricks they have a different concept how you can attach them to the studs when sitting down they have a different schema if you will that compared to lego minifigures so they will need different seats so the interesting question is, of course, with this upgrade, will the shuttle have seats that fit Lego minifigures or seats that fit the new Bluebricks minifigures? This will be interesting. Anyhow, at this point in time, only an announcement. With that, we're moving on 
to uh, something again from the Modbrick series from Florian Design, 576 pieces in the 107201, the big US off-roader party limousine. And I'm actually not sure if this is German or English. I should double check that. Limousine, limo, party limo, I don't know. Is this the right, um, the right way to write this in English? I'm not sure. A limousine. Definitely we write this like this in German, but I'm not sure. Again, Blue Rick's German company, so this may be an issue on my side or on their side. Anyhow, this thing has 576 pieces. I guess this is a Hammer in a limo variant. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been in one of these things. Actually, over here in Europe, we almost never see them. I guess it's a nightmare to get one of these on European streets. And actually, you know, when being in the US, I've never seen one of those. So, but I guess, you know, why not? I'm pretty sure there is somewhere in LA or something is one of these driving around. I'm pretty sure that this is accurate. But I mean, yeah, it looks cool. And it has everything that you need for a nice party on the roads. With that, we're moving on to a Blue Bricks Army series. And here actually nowadays after Blue Bricks purchased or acquired the Mod Bricks company, they have now two army lineups. One is the original Blue Bricks line where this set actually belongs to. This is actually the Battle Tank Challenger 2. So this is the British Army's main battle tank to my knowledge, the 107299. So basically what the Abrams is for the Americans or the, the Leclerc for the French or the Leopard 2 for the Germans. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is again not a German tank because originally this series was actually called Bundeswehr series over here in Germany because in the first couple of years Blue Bricks put into this line in 1x30 scale only German army vehicles but since I guess last year they started to add also other NATO countries um, tanks in here but to this to, to my knowledge no um, Abrams yet I guess this is this is I mean I guess you don't have to uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to happen, but at this point in time, we only have the Challenger 2. Anyhow, this thing has 1,211 pieces, or will have actually, it's only an announcement. And yeah, I mean, it's 1x30, so that's slightly larger than most of the Kobe tanks. And as a result, usually they have a bit more detail. However, if you look into this one, it does not seem to have a true interior. I mean, you can basically open the hood uh, over the engine, um, you can open up the turret, but that's basically what Kobe is doing. So there are better tanks, um, to my knowledge, um, from this Blue Bricks lineup. But nevertheless, if modern tank warfare is your cup of tea or you're a collector of that, then this may be for you. Um, if I look here at the suspension picture, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. But yeah, maybe the suspension is that good. And I think this suspension almost feels like a real one um, because, I don't know, if you look into scale, it can cover quite some rough terrain. Um, with that, we're moving on. And this is what I mentioned before. Blue Bricks now has a second line. And this is from this Mod, Mod Bricks um, brand that they acquired. And here they have announced that they will release a Jeopard tank, Gepard, in German. Um, that's actually a cat. The 107593, I mean, all German tanks are after cats, so... This is an anti-aircraft tank that, to my knowledge, the German army is not using anymore. However, it has been quite a lot in the media in recent months and years because this is actually something that was uh, given to the Ukraine. And to my knowledge, these things are pretty successful against uh, Russian drone attacks. So, um, because it's a pretty cheap way to get something out of the air compared to using, you know, anti-air anti uh, missiles. This is the 107593 by Blue Bricks. It has 550 pieces and roughly 7 by 16 centimeters and 9 centimeters height. So it's not so small, but definitely a different scale than the regular army uh, lineup. With that, we're moving on to this bad boy. This is just called a tank. This is actually wrong. I think in the German, on the German side, I will fix the title. So let me just briefly go to the German version. Yeah, in German they wrote Marder, which is the right name. This is again uh, German. Uh, Marder is actually. Well, I don't know what the English name is, but that's uh, technically not a cat, I do believe. Anyhow, this is. Um, this is the 107702 by Blue Bricks. It has 408 pieces. And again, it's a modern military um, craft that is still used by the German army, to my knowledge. And this one here will have roughly 7 by 15 centimeters. 
and then seven and a half in height. And then they have what they call the Toon Car in dark green. Not really sure what this is. Looks a bit like a Land Rover, pretty tiny actually. This is um, basically a six stud vehicle. This is like, like Lego City or maybe the old Speed Champion format. It's a 107, 700 by Blue Bricks. This thing is going to have 174 pieces and it's six by 12 and a half centimeters um, and slightly below five centimeters in height. With that, we're moving on to the English Underground Railway, a three-in-one set. Actually, I'm not 100% sure on this one here. This is the 107733. It has 1,031 pieces, and you see three cars here, but it's called a three-in-one set. For me, this sounds like, okay, you can build one of these, but... Do, we, do you really need a thousand and thirty pieces for one of these? I mean, obviously you have, we will need a couple of spare parts for the different variants, but I'm actually not sure. But yeah, I, I guess this is what it's supposed to mean, that you can build one of these three cars. And then, of course, if you want to have all three of them, then you have to buy three times the set. This is, you know, me guessing at this point, but I think this is what this will mean. Again, just an announcement at this point in time. As soon as it releases, we will know more. With that, we are moving on to the animalistic pizza trolley or pizza trolley. Uh, interesting uh, choice of name. So Blue Bricks, of course, there is um, a pretty, this is a pretty famous car from pop culture. There's a certain, certain comic book that actually um, was depicting this one here. So as always, Blue Brick, or as not as always, but usually Blue Bricks, you know, is not getting any licenses. They're doing this um, for, as I mentioned, they have a license for Star Trek, Robocop, and a Stargate, but they don't have all the other stuff where they're doing sets. So this is this is why this has such a weird name, but I guess everyone who is a big fan knows what this is. And for everybody else, I mean, it's just a cool bus. This is a 107817. Um, it's going to have 351 pieces. And yeah, that's about it. We do not know much more, but it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, I'm a big fan. Anyhow, next announcement is the Detached House and Construction 107818. So this is actually a typical, I would say, a family home for Central Europe. Um, I think this is a house that you can see like this, I don't know, in the Netherlands, in Germany. Pretty straightforward and standard. I think the interesting piece is that it is so normal, um, right? It's not, not fantastical, it's nothing special. It's just a nice, beautiful home for for small family. Um, so for those of you uh, from abroad, uh, yeah, this is actually... How it usually looks like it's pretty authentic over here in Germany so if a house is built this is you know this is all the stuff that you will usually find and see and this I think makes it pretty cool because we do not have that many good construction sites um, and you know brick built so having this one it's even to a certain degree modular is actually a pretty cool idea it is I think I mean it is 30 by 32 studs on a base plate so I'm pretty sure you could you could even fit this in into that, it's, let's say, in between modulars. However, I mean, if you're building a city, because this is, you know, a small family home, why a typical, for instance, Lego modulars are more like city buildings, right? Um, so, but yeah, um, I mean, it has the right shape for that. But in general, I think you would rather go for, you know, having an extra area in your city where you basically start building construction site. Keep in mind also, Blue Bricks is selling a ton of construction site uh, machinery and vehicles, etc., etc. So if that is your cup of tea, here you go. The 107818. I think this bad boy has, I mean, it's not, too, it's not that much. 1,741 pieces. It's not that much, actually, uh, designed by Matteo. With that, we're moving on, like I said, all the licensed stuff. So uh, we will start first with Robocop, um, where Blue Bricks um, acquired the license from MGM, or Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios. And here we go. The first set is the OCP Police Cruiser, the 106905. This is actually, I guess, a 1 by 18 scale vehicle. I think it's not 1 by 12. It's too small for that. But 1 by 18 is the typical size that Blue Bricks is going for with these large vehicles. This one here has 1,411 pieces, 34 centimeters in length, 14 and a half in width, and roughly 11 and a half in height. It ha will have a plaque um, as the typical, uh, as is typical for Blue Bricks. They do the same thing with Star Trek. So all of these have a six by six tie. I mean, depends on the size. And we will see this here with Robocop and Stargate as well. So the larger sets have a six by six tie, and then the smaller one, just a two by six or two by four. I'm not sure we will take a look at this in a sec but yeah I guess this could 
go in in many scenarios as a police car right and if i look at the prints here on this side it just says police so i think while it is licensed as robocop i think you could pretty much use this in other scenarios of, as well so if you're into let's say us um, american style police cars um i guess you this could be interesting for you. Then we have two vehicles, I think, no, three cars or four even, um, that are more in the ballpark of minifigure scale. Um, and first we have Kane's armored truck, the 106898. So this is a Robocop 2, you know, it's Kane in the title. Actually, I haven't seen this stuff for such a long time that I can't really recall what, where this thing is used. But anyhow, you have um, this truck here. It has 586 pieces. It's 8 by 18 centimeters and 9 centimeters high. So that's not that small. So the question is, while it is minifigure scale, do you have the space in your city for this thing to drive around? And, and like I said, we have a smaller scale plaque here. I guess it's a 2 by 4 um, tile. I think. Anyhow, pretty simple design, but I guess the prints will make the difference. I mean, this is the cool stuff about, or the cool thing about uh, Blue Bricks. They, you know, they are not too, they are not cheap when it comes to pet printing um, all the pieces. Actually, they are far ahead of Lego in that regard. So usually, I mean, in Star Trek, I think we have never seen a sticker. I think the Defiant, the large one, had a couple because they just couldn't do it with pet printed printing at this specific spot. And I think we had this maybe two times, but in general, they pet print everything which is pretty cool so moving on to the robocop bodiger bodiger i have no idea how this is supposed to be pronounced um gang transport um the 106897 it is again minifigure scale i would say it is part of robocop not robocop 2 it has 392 pieces and it's 8 by 19 centimeters at eight and a half in height roughly um this will be interesting and i don't know why my browser is again not loading the picture come on yeah i did it did this morning when i recorded the german show so i don't know sometimes my browser is sometimes maybe it's too many images i'm opening anyhow we'll focus on the first one Interesting will be the color of the pieces. It looks like flat silver, so not... Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what what the color is. I mean, it could be simply light bluish gray, and, and they just, you know, did this in Photoshop. But, I mean, this is a render as far as I can tell, as you as is usual with Blue Bricks boxes. Um, but, yeah, here we go. Uh, I think the color could be interesting. There are not really many prints on there. So, yeah, and I also believe this one will be on the, the cheaper side. With that, we're moving on to the 106896, the Robocop 6000 SUX. I have no idea what this car actually is. I can't recall, but it has 401 pieces. It's 8.5 by 22 centimeters. And again, not that many prints. And again, my browser is not loading the other picture. It doesn't matter. It is a nice car, I would say. Um, it is a, it, like I said, it has almost, it is, yeah, it's an eight stud vehicle. So typical what you, for instance, know about on Lego side in this breach speed champion lineup. And with that, you have the OCP police cruiser, the 106 895, 376 pieces. So that's basically the same vehicle as before, but not in one by 18 scale, but it is an eight stud vehicle, i.e. speed champion, Lego speed champion size territory. And yeah, it has again, this the police print. So I think this car could be really interesting for speed champion collectors um, because yeah, you have a nice police car. It's all pet printed, um, pretty cool. I mean, yes, you have the Robocop black, but you don't have to use it, right? So yeah, quite a nice quite a nice touch from uh, Blue Bricks. With that, we're moving on to another Robocop 2 set. It's Kane itself, Robocop 2.0. The 106894, it has 284 pieces. And this bad boy is actually, I see, think yeah it's 11 and a half centimeters in width um slightly below nine in uh, depth and 15 in height and yeah not too shabby the build again the entire color scheme is interesting i think it's just part of the render all of this has a slight and slight glossy touch to it but at the end of the day i do believe it's just going to be dark bluish gray light bluish gray that's what i think at this point in time a couple of interesting prints in there uh, the nuclear 2x2 uh, two two round tile is a nice touch. Um, so yeah, here you go, Kane. With that, we're moving on to Robocop ED209, the 106892. Uh, it has 301 pieces. 
and it's roughly 10 centimeters width and depth. So the actual actual um, the actual podest um, he's standing on actually is 10 and a half in width. However, the robot itself is deeper. Actually, is this considered this is a robot, right? Um, so this is slightly deeper. So this is the reason why it's 10 and a half by 10 and a half. But yeah, here you go. It has the guns, a lot of prints actually. Uh, on it also look here at the prints on the side of the legs look pretty cool um, color scheme seems to be mostly light bluish gray dark bluish gray maybe a bit of pearl dark gray and black quite nice and then we have um, two brick bodies uh, with this license um, so brick bodies that's basically blue bricks alternative to um, what is it called again? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it, it will come to me at a later point in time. But yeah, what what Legos? Brick heads. That's what I was looking for. So the brick bodies, actually, they don't put it on the box, but usually that's what uh, Blue Works folks, folks call it. And as you can see, it is definitely a different concept comp uh, compared to the brick heads. Um, it looks different, but I think the idea, right, to have an over depicted, I don't know, um, brick build a figure and uh, here we have first Lewis. Uh, Lewis is a 106893. She has 219 pieces. She has a gun, a uniform, a lot of again printed pieces with police signs on it. And then of course we have the big boy himself, Robocop, the 106891. He is a uh, done I guess in dark bluish gray. Uh, maybe it was pearl dark gray. I mean I don't know, interesting. The color scheme will be really interesting. To, um, I'm really looking forward to this. Anyhow, he has 229 pieces. It's the 106891. With that, we're moving on to Stargate. And here we have a ton of spaceships, uh, obviously. We have first the X303 Prometheus, uh, the 106837. She has 2,229 pieces, so quite a monster. She's 50 centimeters in length uh, and 22 in width and 25 in height. So that's quite a large ship. It is a pretty simple design. So personally, I'm not the biggest fan. But again, if, if, if I guess we can expect that everything that you see here that is printed is actually pet printed. There are usually no stickers with Blue Bricks Pro. So this could be could look really, really cool. On the other hand, with all the prints, there's no way to light this one. So if you put lighting in this, I guess only 50% or not even that, maybe 30% of all the windows that you see here will actually come to light. That's a drawback, of course. And as you can see, there's even no interior here because all of this is, is deep snot technique so I'm pretty sure there's no way to get all get lights into most of these windows nevertheless here you go the Prometheus and she is not that small and then we're moving on to Asgard Spelisknir the 106849 it has 1158 pieces actually a pretty nice ship I must say um she is, I do believe, yeah, 30 centimeters in length, 30 in width. So that's it's basically a square ship, which is interesting because this is, I mean, if you look at the pictures from this angle, this is not how it looks like. But I mean, Blue Bricks is pretty clear that this thing is like a square. Um, and it's 17 and a half centimeters in height. And yeah, again, ton of prints in there. Interesting color choice. Really looking forward, learning more, like what colors are in this ship. Um, and yeah. She looks pretty nice. And with that, we're moving on to the Ancients Aurora, the 106848. So this is not Stargate SG-1. This is Stargate Atlantis. And this one here has 1,128 pieces. And it's roughly 36 centimeters in length. And then 15 by 15 width and height, roughly. And by the way, all of these ships have um, a Stargate sign, the Stargate itself, if you will. I think this is brick built. Um, and however, all of the pieces should be pet printed. So all in all, I think this is actually a more interesting ship. If you ask me, I do really like this design. What I really don't like is this is one here, the Gouldai, oh, Gouldai, Gouldai Cash. I don't know how this is pronounced in the English original. I think I saw this once or twice. I can't recall if I saw it in the German translation or in the original, but I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not a Stargate guy i'm sorry my roommate was actually watching this a lot but i never really did maybe i was once or twice in the room and this was running but anyhow we're talking about the 106 847 1244 pieces and what an ugly ship it is i'm sorry sorry all the stargate fans but i don't know this thing looks so boring but yeah if this is your cup of tea if you i don't know into gua 
ships and um and um well if you would just want to have them all if you're a stargate collector this may be for you this thing is 32 centimeters in length uh, 24 in width and 17 and a half in height and then we're moving on to the ugliest of all the pieces, the Milky Way Chevron. It is a 106845. I have no idea what this is. I guess fans do know. It has 389 pieces and it is 43 centimeters in width. But I don't know. It looks like a sign. You can put it on a stand. I don't know if this is... Is this a starship? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I guess I'm a bit more into Star Trek and Star Wars, but... Here you go, you got your chevron. And with that, we're moving on to the race cruiser, the 106844. This thing has 1037 pieces. From my point of view, much more interesting. It's 38 centimeters in length, uh, not too shabby. And a 32 in width and 50 and a half in height. And it has, of course, a cool color scheme. It's like a blue and purple mix. Um, so yeah, it looks a lot more interesting, I must say. Um, however, not as interesting and as sharp as this one, the F302. Uh, this looks more like human design, the 106843. It has 1,356 pieces. Don't underestimate the size of this bad boy. It is 52 and a half centimeters in width uh, and 29 in length. So the interesting thing I do believe will be how robust are the wings? Um, this could be interesting to take a look at. But this, I mean, it's a pretty cool looking ship. So I think even if you're not into Star Trek, more like into, let's say, hard fiction, for instance, this could be your cup of tea as well. Because as far as I can tell, there's basically nothing Stargate related to it, right? It's just a cool science fiction design. Really like it. Again, Stargate SG-1. Then we have also three of these Brick Buddies. We have... Apophis, Apophis, I have no idea how this is going to be pronounced, the 106-85840, my apologies, 238 pieces, it's a golden boy, and yeah, I mean, Stargate SG-1, if you are into gold, this may be yours, and then we have Ronan Dax, actually this is the one character I definitely don't know, but I think I've never seen Stargate Atlantis, the 106-839, 295 pieces, and yeah, I mean, he has some... Nice color. <laughs> oh, nice, nice hair color, I wanted to say. And then, of course, we have Mr. Jack O'Neill MacGyver is here as well, the 106838. And Blue Bricks is asking, or will use 196 pieces for this bad boy. And yeah, I mean, this is the one I would be definitely interested in as well. Not so much for Mr. O'Neill, but for Mr. MacGyver, of course. Uh, one of the heroes of my childhood. Um, with that, we're moving on, leaving the license territory, moving again more to traditional stuff. And here we have an, the, the Blue Brick special brand, the 107801, the municipal road cleaner. Actually, this is one pretty much, the, this is how they look like over here in Central Europe. And so, like I said, Blue Bricks is shipping a lot of these construction vehicles, municipal vehicles, etc., etc. This one here is 481 pieces, or it's going to have, I should rather say. 7 by 18 centimeters and 9 centimeters in height. And yeah, again, a pretty, pretty well done design, uh, pretty authentic. So if your city is getting dirty, this may be for you. Or you could go more in the sports direction and buy a drift car. So if you have a racetrack in your city or something like that, then this may be for you. The 107810, it's going to have 337 pieces, 8 by 17 and a half centimeters and fifths in height. Five in height, not fifths, five. Five centimeters in height. And then we have a dark blue station wagon. What a creative name. The 107811. And I don't know, this thing looks like a tank. I'm not really sure what, what was going on here, but I don't know. It's brick built. Um, so, um, and not much snot in use. It's basically brick on brick. And of course, this gives this thing a very sturdy design. Uh, it has only 157 pieces and a 6 by 14 centimeters. And then we're moving on again to something where I'm pretty sure they had, you know, a pretty famous pop culture reference to this one. This is straight from a movie. It's a submarine car 2-in-1, the 107812, 292 pieces. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful car. But you could also turn this into a submarine. And you have even a stand coming with it. Quite nice, actually. Um, this is roughly 10 by 17 and a half centimeters and 13 in height. And then you have the US cap or US taxi, as Bluebix is calling it. Typical old school New York cap, a 107, 814, 189 pieces and 6 by 14 centimeters. And then, then I have something where I'm really 
curious why a German company is doing this, um, because this is usually something that at least Europeans and Germans especially don't really know how to take this one. But I don't know. It's called the Patriotic Arms Patriotic Arms Trade, the 107815. And yeah, it's a gun shop uh, and, a, and a shooting range as well. Um, or I don't know how is the shooting range called on the inside. I don't know. I'm not really into guns. But if this is your cup of tea, or if you do believe this truly belongs into your brick built city, then you may acquire this one with 472 pieces. And then we have a tuned black car, as Blue Bricks calls this. Oh my gosh, their naming is really creative. The 107816, 173, 173 pieces. Um, Getting my numbers wrong here, 6.4 centimeters by 14 and roughly four and a half in height. And again, part of mod bricks. With that, we're moving on to Kobe. And here we have a few more information on the new Lockheed F-22 Raptor, the 5855. No availability internationally yet. Um, and I do apologize for that. Maybe I shouldn't even done any reporting on it. Anyhow, over here in Europe, we have now, over here in Germany, I do know we have the first shops listing that. But I'm pretty sure, just keep an eye on it, you know, put maybe an availability alert on SETIB. And then you will get informed as soon as we have listings for this one. Anyhow, it has 695 pieces, a minifigure. And yeah, it's an F-22. It is, has a pretty simple color scheme, I should say. Dark bluish gray. I guess this is US Air Force. Um, yeah, United States Air Force pilot. Um, so yeah, nothing nothing spe special. Pretty simple design, pretty sleek design. I mean, it's an F-22, but I guess the color scheme is more on the sleeker, simpler side. Uh, um, I should rather say it's 28 by 39 and a half centimeters and 11 and a half height as is typical for Kobe. You could put this one on a stand or, or use basically uh, or put it on wheels if you will depending on what you prefer for your collection. And then we're moving on to the Grumman, Grumman, Grumman. I'm actually not sure how this was pronounced. TBF Avenger, the 5752. Obviously this was the torpedo bomber workhorse of the US Navy, but I think it was also used by Canadian New Canada, New Zealand and UK as well. I think it was used until the 60s, but obviously this is mostly known for its role in the Second World War. I think they produced almost 10,000 of these and it has 392 pieces in minifigure and 33 by 25 centimeters 11 in height. And over here in Europe, you can already pre-order this one for 31 euros. And yeah, I mean, I really like the color scheme of this one. I think um, this is what makes this one special. The only thing and what I do not really understand is they have two seats as it should have, but they have only one minifigure in it. So I don't know, maybe they will do a limited edition as well with too many figures, but this is definitely needs a second figure. So I'm not sure that you need a US Navy pilot for this one. Um, so I'm not sure if there's any other airplane from Kobe that you could, you know, grab the minifigure from. So I don't know, for me, I don't know, if it's wrong to me, please let me know in the comment section what you believe. But I think this thing should have two minifigures. With that, we're moving on to Mega or Mega Constructs. Um, and here we have another Halo set, the Halo Renegade Banshee, the HNC 5.6. It has two minifigures. I'm not really into Halo. I think I've played it once for five minutes. So again, lack of knowledge here. But this thing has 205 pieces. It has a license. Why is this called Paramount Plus? Ah, this is from Halo the series. Interesting. This is why it does not only have a license from Microsoft, but also from Paramount. Interesting. And then we have um, Hot Wheels Bone Shaker again, the HRY17. I think they have done multiple of these. And this is again one of these dual packs that have like a regular Hot Wheels in it and then um, the Mega, Construct, Mega Constructs brick build version. And as always with Mega, um, most interesting piece our thing, of course, all the fancy pieces that they have in there. And then we have a couple of Pokemon sets. Fire type team is available. I have only a listing right now from Amazon UK, but I'm pretty sure you can get this also in the US, the HTJ06, uh, the Pokemon fire type team. And then you have Pokemon Charmander's fire type spin, the HTH86. And again, only I have only a listing in Amazon UK, but this should be available in Amazon 
US pretty soon as well, 81 pieces, um, and in Britain, 18 pounds. And then to a larger one where I do not have a listing yet, saying we have one over here in Germany, and this is the Hot Wheels Twin Mill vehicle, the HKV07. I think over here, this thing is going to cost you around 70 bucks at Amazon. Um, but like I said, internationally, I don't have a listing yet. This one, of course, is interesting. It has 335 pieces and the color scheme is just amazing, right? These metallic flakes that you can so easily see and distinguish. This is, of course, always something that Mega is going for, Mattel is going for, having these cool metallic looks in their, in their pieces. So quite... Quite a special thumb saying. And then we are moving on to another Pokemon set. Here we have a Pikachu with the HDL 75, 79 pieces. With that, we are moving on to Mold King, to the heavy duty forklift, the 17045 or 44. They have this in two color screens with different numbers. So Mold King is listing this thing for around 250 bucks. It is 4,579 pieces technique. This is a one by six scale model, quite a BMOS. And Mold King is collaborating here, if I'm not mistaken, with Kevin Moo, the mock designer. Um, and yeah, I mean, it is it is a lot of vehicle. <laughs> it's a lot of forklift, one by six scale forklift. Um, unbelievable. And yeah, I guess one of the biggest uh, technique sets that you can buy on the market. I mean, Mold King has also a couple of pretty much larger ones. But anyhow, they also announced a ton of interesting trains. So first of all, we have here the MD SD42 diesel locomotive, the 12027. Um, Mold King itself is listing this thing for around 90 bucks, but you have also first Chinese retailers um, for much lower price. For instance, but we are shipping this one to Germany for around 53 bucks. And yeah, this is part of the what Mold King calls the Junior Series. So it's a six-star train, but it's very detailed and looks actually quite beautiful and quite nice. Really like it. However, it does seem to have the new control system by Mold King, which is pretty similar to what Lego is currently doing. Not with their trains, actually, but for everything else, by means you need a smartphone, uh, which I personally don't like, especially also a train I would love to see. Uh, you know, with regular remote control. Anyhow, we are moving on to, to the HXN3 diesel locomotive, the 12026. Um, it's going to cost you around 85 bucks from Old King and on retail something around 50 and yeah, I mean, actually, that is a, um, a locomotive that I do not know. My guess is it's a Chinese locomotive. Um, and... Then we are moving on to something that um, what uh, Mold King calls here is special. So my guess is the 12018 is actually more like for grown-up or adults. Um, this is the USI EMD F7 WP diesel locomotive. Interesting name choice. Um, and Mold King is asking for 105 bucks. And in retail, you see this one for around 66. And yeah, it's a much larger train. It's eight stud, I guess. Um, a lot more material, much larger. I cannot say how the electrification works. If this is again also um, used by or driven by smartphone and not a remote control, um, but I guess it's going to be smartphone based. Anyhow, it's designed by BC01 Pool. Interesting nickname. With that, we're moving on to a couple of Mold King sets in the 8 Start um, Park, as always. I mean, Mold King is pretty busy in this area. I mean, they're basically dominating it at this point in time, right? I think they are already at set number 60 um, of these bad boys. And, I mean, they keep pushing um, for, for the last two years now, I guess. And uh, to my knowledge, all of them are still in the market. So they have... I guess something around like 50 sets currently in the market, which is amazing. I mean, compare this to Lego Speed Champions where you have, I don't know, if you're lucky, seven or eight at the same time in the market. Keep in mind the big difference to Speed Champions is there's no minifigure, of course, included. However, you have this acrylic box, which is also a pretty nice way to collect these. Actually, you can even buy these boxes empty also as well. For instance, just throw in your Lego Speed Champions. And they never have, they have I've, at least I have never seen any with pen printed pieces. So usually they, they are just stickers. I mean, Lego Speed Champions are mostly stickers, I guess, on average. But they also from time to time have pen printed pieces. But the main difference is no minifigure, but you have the box instead. And of course, Mold King is not asking for a license. So this one here is called the 911 Targo Supercar. So I'm pretty 
pretty sure this is a 911 Targa. Anyhow, uh, 27060, and usually Mode King is asking for around 20 bucks, but when this thing comes into retail, I guess you get it for five bucks less. Then we have the FJ Cruiser SUV, I guess this is a Land Rover. I'm not so sure. The 27059, again, 20 bucks, 414 pieces. Not really my car, I must say. Good news is, I think, all the stickers that you can see here are comp really not needed. I think this thing will look quite beautiful even without them. And then you have what they call a Wrangler. Uh, Wrangler, I'm actually surprised that there's no trademark on this one. Anyhow, the 27058, 414 pieces, looks quite nice. All right, we're moving on to the Raptor pickup, uh, the 27057. Obviously, this is a F-150, I guess. Um, and again, same situation. They do not have that's why they give the give these things such interesting numbers. But I think it's a pretty nice design. Looks looks pretty rugged. Um, usually, I'm not a big fan of the SUVs they are doing, but this one here looks quite nice. I mean, it's not an SUV. I know it's a pickup truck, but um, it it looks like a nice pickup truck. I would say. I mean, from a European perspective, what can I say? 465 pieces, and again, Mold King is asking for 20 bucks. However, with that, we're moving on to deals and offers. And here, the only thing from this week is, which is actually still in motion, I do believe, double insiders points in the LEGO store. So if you want to buy something exclusive from LEGO, this could be the way. There are also gift with purchases. Um, so there's a Year of the Dragon um, G G GWP and I know also in some stores, at least in Europe, I think not in North America, you have also the Lunar New Year VIP add-on pack. I sh actually just ordered a couple of days ad ago and I got them both. Um, most and foremost pick a brick in my case, but nevertheless, I listed a couple of sets here that may be interesting because they are LEGO exclusive to my knowledge. But um, I guess you know what you're interested in, what not. With that, we're moving on to two um, reading recommendations. First, I did a review on the Star Trek USS Excelsior from Blue Bricks NX2000, um, the 105689. Pretty beautiful ship. I've personally always been a big fan of this ship. Um, I don't know. Star Trek VI is one of my favorites. Uh, Captain Zulu is just so great um, in, this, in this scene. And I guess you know, you know. <laughs> fly her apart then uh, is one of the coolest sentences ever said on a, in a Star Trek movie. It's just me, but anyhow, I always like the Excelsior and I like the Enterprise B. However, keep in mind, this set is just the NX-2000. So actually that is something that I think is a bit of a, a mishap on Blue Brick's side. I think it would have been really a nice touch if they made it this, would have made this a two-in-one set, Enterprise B and Excelsior, but here we go. And then we have a review uh, written by Stone Garden from our team, and she has done a review on the Medieval Watchtower from Funho, a new Funho set, the 2097, I'm sorry. And yeah, personally, I must say, this is really not my cup of tea. It's it's a bit rough. Actually, however, I have built the Sheriff Office, the 9026 review will come, I think, on Thursday. And this is amazing, but this one here has too many panels for my, for my taste. But she really liked it. So a lot of fancy, cool pictures. Um, if this is something you're interested in, uh, I can definitely recommend taking a look at this. Um, as always, you will find this, I should mention this, if you go to Merlin's Bricks and then just on articles, you will find our entire collection of reviews, both of Lego as well as Chinese and other European brands. Um, as you can see, there's quite quite some variety and of course also stuff like custom prints. I mean, we are looking at a lot of things um, out of the hobby. With that, we're moving on to mocks of the Week and here we have first Doctor Strange from Choi Dumbeck. Actually, this is just an example of an amazing collection of these things. I mean, this is not, this is again different, right? This is not um, uh, a brick hat. This is not a brick body from Blue Bricks or a brick hat from Lego. This is again a different idea. However, of course, the, the goal is the same, right? To have these brick built figures. But I think this designer is doing an amazing job here. And he has a, a huge collection. Uh, I want to click this one here. A huge collection of cool figures. I mean, look at this Gladiator Hulk. It's just amazing. The Iron Man Mark 1 is amazing. Black Panther, the Hulkbuster. I mean, look at it. This is the coolest Hulkbuster I have ever seen. So beautiful designs. 
and he's usually selling these instructions between five to ten bucks. Great work. And then we have something from Germany. I guess for most of you this is not that interesting, but Steinemeister um, has done a Ruhrgebiet Skylines bundle. So Ruhrgebiet is uh, central Germany. You might say it's the industrial heart of Germany. And he has done eight of these Skylines. This is just a collection, obviously. He's selling them also individually. He has also done Hamburg. I mean, I do know on Rebrickable there's a huge community of folks working on these Skylines for all the cities that Lego obviously can't cover because they are just, you know, going for a very few and very small number of very famous cities. But anyhow, if Hamburg is your cup of tea, there's really a nice collection here from this designer. And with that, we're moving on to a pretty cool AAT design from the Lego Wolfpack. Um, I mean, he's, you know, he is very well known a Star Wars mock designer and I think he has done a great uh, a great AAT here. However, unfortunately, he hasn't uploaded any pictures, at least not here on Rebrickable, with any figures. So I obviously I would love to see this. I think it's 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 up to scale, but that's something to be figured out. However, he has also a pretty cool Instagram channel. You might want to take a look at. Maybe he has some um, f pictures up there, including uh, droids. But yeah, nice design. Um, we like the slope work. It's a pretty. Pretty neat AAT. And with that, we're moving on to Boeing 7878 Dreamliner. What a mouthful of a nickname. And he has um, published another sailing ship. It's the IFN Eminent. Uh, this is a Corvette 20-gun. And yeah, I mean, I really like I like his designs. I'm not sure how easy it is to build this one. Um, sailing ships this size, this size are usually not that easy, but I think, yeah, he has, it, it looks to me he has tried to do this with entirely standard Lego pieces. So if you look at all the lines, um, these look like the standard Lego lines with the one by one uh, plates at the end. Uh, the sails are brick built, but I know, of course, a lot of folks from the community, collectors of these kind of ships, they will get their own custom sails made. But if this is not your cup of tea, if you just want to use standard bricks, I think you can. However, this thing is 4,644 pieces. That's not a small one. And uh, however, the designer is only asking for 11 bucks. That's not that much. However, if this is too small for you, this may be your mock. Uh, Pontus German Mox has created the Berlin Cathedral with 71 and 407,000 pieces. This is, I don't know, no, 71,407 pieces, right? Anyhow, it's it's a lot of pieces. I think it is the largest mock I have ever um, talked about here. It has a ton of detail because it just has so many pieces that, you know, that's just the way it is. It's amazing. It's modular, so he does believe you can transport it relatively easy, and it's roughly one by one by one meter. So it's basically cubic meter, and it's just huge. Um, however, it's only built digitally, so I don't know. <laughs> Pontus Gamer Mox is actually doing a lot of these very large things. I have done reporting in the past. Elden Ring, a lot of large buildings, and the, as far as I can tell, these are always digital rendering. So I have no idea if he has ever built any of his mocks and if they actually do work. But, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful design. So I definitely recommend to check this one out. However, I do believe almost nobody's going to build this one. <laughs> With that, we're moving on again to uh, an army vehicle, a Leopard 2A7V, a German main battle tank um, by Simon... Simon Lovisa 01, 1,069 pieces, 10 bucks. And it's a pretty nice and pretty accurate mock, I must say, for a Leopard 2. So this is very well done, actually. Um, and yeah, in the mock territory, I think one of the best main battle tanks I've seen in a while. And yeah, definitely check this one out. However, one of my favorites this week is the B1 Battle Droid hat the, from the, for a helmet collection from Orchid Builds. Only 273 pieces. But it looks so amazing. And he has actually different color, color variants. He has also a driver, a driver hat and a firefighter hat, a training droid hat and a commander. And yeah, they all look amazing. I guess I prefer the command, I'm not sure. 273 pieces for this one here, and he is asking for three bucks. So I think now that we have Rex and Cody, I think having a B1 next to them is really amazing. I guess um, a super battle droid is doesn't make much sense because they don't really have a head. But having a B1 is really, really amazing. And this is well done with less than 300 pieces. And then we're more moving on to an alternate build by Lars Zagri. 
uh, a John Deere lawnmower, uh, 539 pieces. And yeah, it's made from the 42168. Um, he's actually giving away his instruction and idea for free, even if it was an IO file. So you, you know, even if you want to fix an issue or, you know, put some final touches on it, you definitely can. And he has actually built this thing for real, which is always good to know. And then we're moving on to the 91972 uh, Alfa Romeo Spider uh, by Mart. Tart, 200, 2,591 pieces, um, 12 bucks for the instruction. And yeah, it's, it's, he has originally, he has built this one, not just in studio. However, usually Technic mock designers are doing this because there's so many things they have to check um, that they cannot check in the tool, right? Um, you know, if your Technic basically is working um, and nothing is breaking, etc., etc. And yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful design. It's a great car true classic um so awesome and with that we're moving on to another star wars mock again by the lego wolfpack and he has created uh, a diorama for the seed market so this is actually something as far as i can recall we have never seen anywhere in any of the movies or a series tv series uh, by the way did you know bad batch season three i'm so excited anyhow 1366 pieces and this from battlefront 2 however it is to scale for minifigures, as far as I can tell, I think he had a picture somewhere. Yeah, he had a picture here with a couple of battle droids and um, clones. I'm not 100% sure if I'm sold on this scale, but the goal is definitely to make this minifigure. Maybe it's a bit too small. I don't know. The The market stands look a bit too small for me. But um, overall, great design, great scene. Um, so maybe a good way to basically build your most favorite battle moments from Battlefront 2. With that, moving on to a Robbery of the King's Treasurer by Darius Strom. As always, Darius is doing great work here by, um, and this is actually kind of his signature, he's always building his figures in a very... Um, in a specific style that I think only he is using and I think it's always really really cool um, and yeah I mean you have a couple of these brick built figures in there he has actually a huge collection of sets and designs buildings you name it Roman medieval etc 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 and always these brick built um, figures he has this, these brick built dwarves they are pretty small they are basically like Lego mini figures but all brick built and I mean it's just you know, it's cool. I would still go for a, for a Lego minifigure, I should say, but it's the nice touch. And then we're moving on to St. Joseph's Memorial Church from j -Hops. This thing has 3,000 pieces. It's modular size and even has the connection points for modulars, basically like a corner building. And yeah, I mean, this is, of course, not how churches look over here in Europe, but for me, it looks at least like an authentic uh, North American uh, design. Um, he's asking for eight dollars and I think he has even a picture in here. This is the church um, that he used as a reference and yeah it looks pretty pretty nice. You can open up the roof. Um, you have a full fully fleshed out interior. So all in all pretty nice design by J Hobbs. And then last but not least definitely a free of charge mock by X Bricks, the Caribbean Tropical Beach. I've never been to the Caribbean, um, but I think this is this feels like vacation. Uh, I think he did a really uh, great job with the trees using three different colors. I don't know how authentic this is, but it looks really cool. I mean, when I've seen palm trees, usually they always have the same color. But this is just me again over here in cold old Germany. You can't really see these. But definitely it looks great. Um, small boat is included, a nice beach. Yeah, it feels like, feels like vacation. With that, I hope you liked the show. For those of you who watch this on YouTube, please leave a like or comment or even better, subscribe to the channel for all you podcast listeners, wherever you are, you know, do a rating or a recommend or recommendation or vote or like or whatever it is called on your platform. I would really like, um, I'm really looking forward also to all your feedback. So there are two ways to do this. You can go directly to YouTube and leave a comment. And actually, um, also the comments of the YouTube videos also linked into the podcast show notes because I do not have comments on my website. Anyhow, thanks for listening. See you next week.